Oh, hello, Danger Noodles. Oh, for fuck's sake. Thank you. And dear God, is it loud. I have no idea how loud it is for you guys. But it is loud for me. Anyway, we're playing Alice Mayer. Hopefully I'm able to turn down the volume. The ant told me that the frog is bad. The frog told me that the cat is bad. The cat told me no, the rabbit is the worst of the all. So I... So that's roughly how life will be for you here. If you don't understand, there's a note in your room that explains it all again. No one will ask anything of you here. There are a few things to keep to, but it should be a peaceful life. In addition, here. <laughs> really, Sanju? I have re I apparently received a notebook. Your own personal notebook. Use it however you like, for sad or for happy times. Just write down any feeling you have and give it to me, would you? Haha. <laughs> but one of the children just likes to draw on it. That's fine by me too. Now there's still time for dinner. You should greet the other children. Even go straight to left, and you'll find your rooms. They're all good children. It may not be immediate per se, but you'll get along, I'm sure. Ah, and myself? Just call me teacher. Look forward to having you here, Alan. So, I gotta do the thing I learned from Hatchet about the fucking volume. Ah, here. Should I turn it to 50? Maybe 40. Yeah. That seems a lot better. Yeah! Master of all tech. Tell me any of your concerns, I'll do whatever I can. I'm glad to have you here. Variety of books. Can I just sneak, sneak that note? Basic controls. Oh. Damn it. Fuck you, I'm going to bed. Damn it. I guess I have to leave. It's locked. <laughs> Damn. Oh wait, <gasps> the phone guy! The ph oh, never mind. Phone. Can't go that way. This is the girl's bathroom. I can't. Thank you. 
I don't really need to go. Battle with a lot with lots of fear clothes. Okay, so this is my room. Wow, I've never seen you before. Oh, you're the one teacher mentioned. Call me Letty. There's also Rick, but he's not here right now. He's a very nice boy. And here, Ellen. I'm really happy if we could play nice. Nice to know you. Won't open. <laughs> Do and don'ts. Boy leaving your rooms as much as possible except during free time. Potty breaks okay. Don't take things from other rooms. Don't break anything. If you do, tell teacher. Don't force your way into locked rooms. Don't hit other people. Tell teacher about anything that troubles you or that you want. Very bomb, there's a drawing of some kind of dove. I should be concerned by that. I should really be concerned by that. Um. Um. The fact that one of the pets is blocked by the other annoys me more than it should. Uh, I'm Chelsea. N nice to meet you. Can I steal your stuff? Damn it. That's the same thing as the others. Got a lot of teddy bears. Sup? My name is Brown. Or wait, was it Marcus? Might have been Nicole. Alan, huh? Or maybe it was Helen. Oh, well. Nice to meet you. If you amnesia or some shit. <laughs> Strange design. Oh, that's odd that you can speak. Wh what? Oh, because you don't really feel like you're alive. Alan, is it? I'm Stella. Yeah, I'm gonna turn it down a bit more. For my sake. It's still loud for me. Ah, that is much better. Library. Can I can I take this candle? Damn it! What the fuck? Okay, I can't pick those up. Butterfly specimen. We're just gonna ignore that room. That was the teacher's room for a moment. <laughs> There's nothing I can do to keep me from breaking into rooms. Oh, this is the teacher's room. Oh, that's probably the teacher's room. It's locked. Oh, I'm at the table. Where the fuck is everyone? yourself. How did it go? I see. I'm relieved you can carry some conversation with them. 
We are just in time for dinner. Let's go to the dining room. Do you say? Thanks for the meal, bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll read it correctly. Thanks for the meal, teacher. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Alright, return to your rooms and get ready to go to bed. You can go to each other's rooms to talk, but don't go to the second floor. Dismiss. been here long, but you seem used to things already. How are your memories doing? I see. Oh no, don't push yourself to remember. Just take it nice and slow. I'm sure you'll remember everything. Say, do you want anything? I'll buy you whatever I can afford. Ah, well, that I can't give you. It's not something you can buy. Sorry, I'll keep it in mind. Well, I'll buy you some new books. You like to read, don't you, Adam? I'm impressed by how many words you can understand already. Yeah, yeah, it does. It, it does explain Sanju. Teacher's not so smart. I don't really get difficult from things. Oh, it's nothing. Alan, if I told you there was a world unlike our world, would you believe me? No, it's just a fairy tale. But you should be invited to such a world. I'd advise against opening that door. Alright. Get back to your room. I need to lock up too. Go to bed quick. They said don't go upstairs, but I'm going to fuck upstairs. I'm a rebellious motherfucker. I'm upstairs. What you gonna do about it? Yes. <laughs> Probably should say. Is this door open now? Well, I disobeyed, but nothing bad happened. I'm disappointed. the teacher's room. Warm. Got oh, lots of your clothes. I guess talk to the other people. to meet you. Now this is the first time we look rather similar, but I'm not Betty. My name's Rick, and you're Ellen, right? She told me about you when Nettie goes to bed. I watched the room for her. Well, maybe it's not quite like that. Oh well, nice to meet you. Voices. I he he hear voices, Joshua said. That's scary. I wonder if I can sleep by myself. You're not alone. You have you have multiple teddy bears. Hey, did you know? There are weird voices coming from the second floor at night. All like hell. 
Ugh, no way. I don't want to check it myself. You're so curious. Why don't you go at him? Oh, but don't tell teacher. He'll get mad at me. Excuse me. Alright, and a while ago, I said you felt the least alive out of anyone. But actually, teacher seems about equally devoid of a life. Perhaps it's all his lack of cleanliness. His hair is, is so unkempt. It's even longer than mice. I told him that once, and he made a face like he, he'd eaten a grapefruit. Strange voices. Not interested. Alright, let's go to fuck upstairs. Lock. Oh. Help me. Yeah, fuck it. I'll help. Um... Who's there? Uh-oh, sorry, that's the wrong voice. Alan, I heard a loud crash. What are you doing up here? Didn't I tell you to get ready for bed and not go upstairs? The butterfly said to help. I see. Well, while that butterfly may look alive, it's long since died. Something without a soul can't speak, can it? What a mess. Are you hurt? You seem fine. That's good. These glass shards are dangerous. I clean them up, so go to your room and sleep. Never mind. Just had a little headache. No need to apologize, really. Just don't do it again. There, there. There, there. There, there. It's okay. Good night. Why do I get the feeling to not trust the teacher? I wonder if he's in there and the library will be open. Nope. Wait. Oh, all the doors are locked now. Okay. That is a cat. Um... What did I do? Um, I may have made a mistake. Yep. Jesus, what's the hay? What if it isn't a strange little human I've never seen before? What's that? Why do yes? If you say you're dreaming, Alice, then sure this is a dream. Because here, what Alice says and does is everything. That, that's not your name? Oh, no, no. Alice is Alice. That's because I see so. That contradicts what I just said. Maybe you're on some kid. This place is jack full of weirdos, so I'm just one of them. <laughs> oh, don't say that. And don't stop in the middle of a good meal, do you? Same for dreams, gonna save the taste. Oh, well, I'm busy than I look. Alright, I'll smell ya. One open. I open the portal of Narnia, and I can't leave. Now what? Oh. Never mind. Hi there. <sighs> oh, another visitor. That makes six. Hmm. That doesn't add up. Oh, never mind. Good evening, Alice, and welcome. 
I'm the white rabbit and guide of this world. It's a rather big place, so call me if you need anything. Well, I should note, I won't move from this spot. It's just a pain, really. Right now, there's a pressing matter of the keys to the world's doors going missing. Four of the five are no longer here, but I think I can hazard a guess as to who has them. It's briefly stated, I don't want to move an inch. So, Alice, I'd like you to ask you, ask you to recover them. How does that sound? Or whatever. You have my thanks. Luckily, I do have one of the world keys on hand, so you can already go and run. Knowing who we're dealing with, I'm sure he's scattered them all across the world. Once you find one, please bring it back to me. Don't be shy about asking any other questions you may have. But only once, I don't care to repeat myself again and again. That was... That was a, this guy is a paying face just now, wasn't it? Oh well, I hope to have your assistance. Oh, one more thing. You might find it pitch black beyond the door ahead. In that case, just keep walking. Explaining everything is becoming a pain. You better get going. Yo! You doing well for yourself? I'm feeling fine. Keys? Want to know? No, sir. That's the truth and nothing but. Sure, I did steal them, but only because someone asked me to. I can't tell you who, nope. I may be a liar, but I wouldn't lie to a friend friend. Any other way to knock him? No, no, of course not. Maybe if you tell me your mom's maiden name or the name of your pet. Whoops, don't remember, huh? Besides, I'm just a guy. All I give are hints. So he's doing here. I just want to be found in each world. Yeah, why you ask? I'm only as much of a pain as you know who he is. The white rabbit, I mean. Ugh, just saying his name ruffles my fur. He messed me up just as bad underneath this hue hoo Wanna take a look? Maybe a tad grotesque. Just a little on like you. Alright, time's up. See you later. Hey, and good luck. One must not peer into the heart of a man, or the heart is ever questioning. Up to two times can be forgiven, but the one can who cannot answer the heart's third question will fall into a slumber. That was creepy.